Hey everyone, it's Olivia from ConvertKit, and in this week's Tuesday Tip video, I'm going to show you how you can easily share a link to the web version of any of your ConvertKit broadcasts. You have two options when it comes to sharing a link to your broadcast on the web. You're able to grab the link after the broadcast has been sent, or you can actually include the web archive link within the broadcast itself. First, if your broadcast has already been sent, all you have to do is click into it from the list on the broadcast page, and then click the share button at the bottom of the right sidebar. That will open the web version of your broadcast in a new tab in your browser. You can copy the URL in the address bar of that tab, and then you're free to share that link wherever you like. The second option is to include the web link in the actual broadcast itself. This provides your subscribers the option to read your content in their web browser, and it also gives them the ability to easily share that link with their friends. To include a web archive link within your broadcast, you'll first want to highlight the text you want to add it to from the email editor. Then, click the link icon the same way you would if you were adding any other text link. From here, just use our archive URL shortcode in the URL field. Once your broadcast has been sent, this shortcode will automatically turn into the broadcast's web link. Just a heads up that this link will actually only work once the broadcast has been sent, because that's when the public page is created. And for that reason, this link won't work in preview emails. And that's it! Now you're able to share a link to your ConvertKit broadcasts on the web. 